Hello, my name is Rahul. I am going to show you how to send an email over TCP socket using C programming. I am using NetBeans 8.0.2. Now go to File, New Project, C, C++, select C, C++ Application, Next, Enter Project Name. SMTP mail you must select C over here ok finish this will create our project with file main.c open it ok now create a function name connect to server of data type integer int connect to server const character pointer server address ok return 0 ok now create a file descriptor using socket function in socket fd is equal to socket okay. net means added the header file says slash socket dot h ok now socket parameters af underscore internet that is family then socket type soc underscore stream ok comma ip protocol that is ip ok now we are going to return that socket file descriptor socket ip ok now now we need to uh, define a address to which this socket going to connect ok we are going to use sock address underscore in sock address underscore in ok now also define struct ok now define its um, properties dot address family is equal to af underscore internet address dot port is equal to h turns ok 25 that is the smtp port ok now i am going to define a function to convert smtp domain name into IP address const character pointer get IP address pass a argument const character pointer target domain now const character pointer target IP now get the raw list of address using uh, get host name get host by name ok struct host name pointer raw list is equal to get host by name that is our target domain ok now for i comma raw int i is equal to 0 raw list 
bracket bracket pi not equal to zero i plus plus okay now define a address pointer Interact address pointer host address okay host address is equal to raw list target IP is equal to internet n n t o a ok that is host address now return target IP now I am going to pass the IP address to socket address structure internet underscore return AF internet family comma get IP address copy list here Okay, comma address dot in address. Okay, now check if it is correct is equal to success one. Now connect socket FD, comma address of socket structure comma size of address ok we need to do one more thing we need to fill it with 0 then we set address of socket ok comma fill with 0 comma size of TDR now I am going to define a header file to store user id and password and the host name ok let's do it new header c header file ok name it para finish ok hash define uid that is your smtp login id ok then hash define um, password that is your smtp login password then hash define server your domain ok ok now I am going to define smtp server domain name over here hash define smtp domain name ok now I am going to copy the logic to speed up the clip ok I am not going to type the entire code it will take more time then ok I upgraded the code from my code bank 
and included two files base 64.h and base 64.c i am not going to open para.h as it contains my credentials okay now i included a function name mail header it is going to create the header mail header that defines the subject mime type and content type and character set okay you must type this function as it is if you want to send a email successfully okay type it carefully okay now go to main function we call the mail header first and store it in a character pointer then we connect to the server using our connect to server function and check if it is not equal to minus 1 then we start sending our command first command is ehlo it will say hello to a specific domain on smtp server okay you must uh, pass return carriage and new line in the end of each command and it is look like like this e h l o space domain slash r slash n okay then it will return some commands and their error codes success or error codes okay then you send authorized login a u t h l o g i n slash r slash n okay then it will ask for user id in base 64 string format okay then we send user id to um, smtp server via a base 64 code function this i am using this function from apple core foundation files okay that is base 64 that i included okay then we pass our password same using base 64 encode okay then we send uh, from then we pass recipient email address the person who going to receive the email okay then we pass data after passing the data command you will receive 354 code you need to send uh, your email after receiving 354 code okay then you send the mail header to the smtp server and without reading you send the um, mail body then send slash r slash n dot slash r slash n then you send written carriage new line dot written carriage new line dot okay it will end the smtp email okay and then you send quit slash r slash n it will end your uh, smtp session with server but remember you need to close the file descriptor created by socket okay go over here and close the file descriptor and free header memory okay now we test for errors okay run it okay now Okay, okay, okay. Declare it about connect to server. Okay. Now resolved. Okay. Now run it. Now before running it, we need to set the correct email address. I'm not going to show my personal email. So T O two. 
okay now i'm not going even going to show it even here on receive so character skip thousand okay skip size of skip remove this okay okay we need a email i have this email created specifically for this test okay this is my test account run it segment fault it is because of time we have to use old time header hash include time dot h okay now run it this is one okay let's check the email it's not going through okay no no check the spam okay we need to check it out Okay. I did some error. Okay. Now run it. That's it. We received it. Okay. We received our email. Okay. We delete it. And we again send it. Okay. Check one new mails. We received it. Delete it. Okay. Let's do it more. Okay. Now we run it. Okay, we go refresh it. We receive it. Okay, delete it. We change the message. I own code log. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.